Hello Virgos, my name is Brianna and welcome to my channel Breview. This reading is for the sign of Virgos. Now, um, I am going to have my focus on finances, careers, whatever for the month, but honestly, whatever messages come out is what messages come out and it may not be about finances. It may be, who knows, um, but we're just going to see, right? Um, and if you are interested, I did do love readings. Um, last month for your sign so please do check those out and also do check out those earth sign readings so good awesome so let's get started so to get started i'm gonna pull four cards from the earth magic deck right here and if you also are interested i do have the names of the decks in the description box as well also do please check that out because i have a lot of info in there maybe helpful for some of you okay let's get started all right four beautiful cards to start this lovely reading for the sign of virgo oh jesus oh dang well they all popped out for y'all whoa okay okay well that that's the first in a long time all right um before i read these to you before i even start any of this okay i'm gonna start with the message that i got for you guys because i did have a couple messages that came through okay the first one time is of the essence I really don't know what that means, but just like, you know, like the time is now, you know, really take advantage of the time or whatever. That's kind of what I get from that. The second message I got was strategize towards goals and dreams, okay? So, first card that I got for y'all. Ocean, ebb and flow. Going with the flow. Ancestors, generations. Maybe um, you think about family, family growth. This could be you know past generations this could be in future generations whatever then i have the rain purification and then i also and then i got interesting enough i got the spring equinox the rebirth card but it was in the reverse it fell in the reverse so i'm gonna leave it that way so maybe there are certain things that you need to do in order to get to this rebirth maybe some of the work you still have not done at this time and that's okay like you know it is a process it takes time but that's what i'm getting so far from that maybe you're you're right on the verge of getting this rebirth but there's some things that you need to do maybe stop trying to control things and going more with the flow is going to be very helpful for you also with the generation cards maybe some of you guys are too focused on generational things like I don't know why, but I heard, like, generational curse. Maybe some of you guys are, you know, focused on that. Um, but you guys definitely have to release a lot of those things. Release that karma, release that tension and different things. Um, and also release that need to try to control everything. You can control some stuff, but maybe you're doing too much. Like, just need to kind of take a step back. Okay? But definitely you can strategize towards your future. But also have faith in God and know that God can also push you through. With this purification card here, there is definitely things that you need to release. That's what I heard first. Release. Release. Okay? You need to release some of the negative toxic energy from the past to be able to really move forward. Okay? Alright. And it's weird because right when I broke the deck, I see attachment. And then right next to that, patience. So be patient with yourself and be patient with the process. But also any dark negative attachments that you have had you need to purify yourself and you really need to get out of that negativity okay to be able to really move towards actually having that rebirth and that change in your life that's really going to help you okay so now i'm going to see what clarifications i can get for you guys and i'm going to be using my second deck the energy oracle cards it's a very beautiful deck and i'm just going to go ahead and shuffle this a couple more times guys and just just so you know, I did just see the um door to romance and also next to that, the man holding a heart. So maybe some new love is coming in for some of you. Okay. Right. Check this one more time and then I'm going to get started. All right. Thank you guys so much for this beautiful messages that have come through for the sign of Virgo. Please help me to get some clarification cards for this Virgo. Please help me to get some clarification. Oh, jeez. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, really? Jesus. All right, so. <laughs> all right, I don't need any more cards. Thank you, God, so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I don't even know what fell out first, but like literally, I just kind of picked them up as they were. So, whatever. 
I mean, kind of, I, I kind of messed them up, so whatever. Okay. All right. I don't even know what order they were supposed to come in, but whatever. We're just going to go with them. First card that came in, strategy. Remember what I said at the beginning? Strategize towards your goals and dreams. Hmm. Wonder why that one pops up. <laughs> Storm warning. Ooh, I kind of, I kind of know why this one popped up. Because remember what I was saying. Don't try too hard. That's the key there. You, you gotta let go of some of the control. Maybe yes, you can strategize some things, but don't go overboard. I'll put this right under. But don't go overboard because at the end of the day, you know you need to go with the flow a little bit more. Okay. Sheesh. A lot of great cards here. Okay. The next one you guys have is appreciation. So definitely, maybe you're going to get some appreciation coming in. Okay? A lot of people are going to be, you know, helping you for whatever reason. They're going to be helping you. They're going to be appreciating you. And maybe new creations I'm hearing. Okay? And I also see the walking away. So like I was saying, maybe there's something that you need to release to purify yourself. That's what you need to walk away from. Whatever that negative stuff is from the past. Still needs to really walk away from that. Then I have the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael here, which is the heart chakra. So maybe walking away and then walking towards more of that heart-centered space within yourself. And I'm going to read out of my chakra Bible a little bit about that, just to give you some more information, okay? So that fourth chakra is the heart chakra, as I said. The key issues are passion, tenderness, inner child issues, and rejection. Hmm. So maybe um, some of you guys are working towards like really going through whatever it is that's been bothering you. And maybe that's why the heart chakra is there to kind of, you know, go within a little bit more. The inner aspect of this is unconditional love and compassion. Maybe that's what you need to have toward yourself and compassion, more compassion towards others, I heard. For the physical action is circulation. Mental action is passion and spiritual action is devotion. So being more devoted towards yourself and purifying yourself is really going to be awesome as well. Then next to that one, I got indecision. So maybe you're in, undecided about some decision that you need to make in your life moving forward. But I feel like you will make the best decision. And under that one was care and connections. So maybe some of you guys are indecisive about a connection that you have. But I feel like... um. You don't need to be indecisive. I feel like you will make the right choice. Just follow your heart. Follow your heart and you will make the right choice moving forward. And just go with the flow when it comes to that situation. Don't try to control it too much. Okay? Again, if you are interested, I did love readings where I really went deep into it. Okay? And you can actually watch that for Virgo. Um, and also for the earth signs, you can just check those out. Okay? The next card here is the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about him. The sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Bam, bam. The sacral chakra. Now, this one, the key issues are relationships, violence, and addictions. Okay? The um, inner aspect is feelings. The physical action, reproduction. Mental action is creativity. Emotional action is joy. And the spiritual action is enthusiasm. So... What I'm kind of getting from this card is like, because it's right next to caring connections, is like those relationships, again, maybe there was some violence or addictions in your relationships, but I feel like you and your partner will be able to purify yourselves and really work through that and moving forward, okay? Then the next card I got was Blossoming Abundance. So definitely more money finances are going to be working out in your favor moving forward, which is good because, you know trying to trying to get to the finances <laughs> but it seems like your finances will be good at this time just go with the flow and also strategize towards how you can really make that work for you but you will and maybe with the help of your partner you will figure out what works best for you and your relationship and the last card i got for you guys is the second chakra archangel ariel and today this is the second time that this card came out and honestly i have not ever gotten that chakra card yet so Maybe a lot of you guys need to really work on that. And the second chakra is your third eye chakra. So that's more of like your intuition. Okay, so the key issues are balancing the higher and lower selves and trusting inner guidance. So definitely coming within like one with self. And that's really, that's going to help you with this rebirth as well. 
you're gonna do a lot of reflections and that's gonna help moving forward reflect give yourself some self-love and appreciation there also start building caring connections with other people around you if you need to be vulnerable and open up to other people that's really gonna help you as well take certain things off your mind i don't know why i said that but i feel like someone needed to hear that okay the inner aspect is your intuition so again going within is really what's gonna help you and bringing a balance between your higher and lower self okay the emotional action is clarity so again you're gonna bring a lot of clarity by just going within and using your intuition moving forward and the spiritual action that you can take is meditation that actually really does help to open that up as well okay All right so that's what i got for you guys so far this month what i'm going to do now is just pull um a couple positive message cards that i can get for you guys okay just to close out this message i know sometimes it doesn't make sense like the readings um but there's definitely different bits and pieces and different information for different people you know who are watching this you know but you take what resonates with you and if something stands out to you then that's for a reason and maybe that's something you need to reflect on okay or even right if something provokes a reaction is what i just heard too something provokes a reaction and it's probably for a reason and maybe you can reflect on that and see what that is or hey you may even get a good idea from it who knows <laughs> thank you guys so much for this, this beautiful reading so far please help me to get um one to two positive messages for the sign of virgo any positive messages for the sign of virgo any signs i mean sorry <laughs> any positive message for the sign of virgo whoa okay that's too many half the deck is too many <laughs> um can i have two to four cards please two to four cards thank you i've dropped one thank you all right we'll take the top two um okay i'm hearing one more one more card thank you thank you thank you god thank you awesome <laughs> beautiful well i got three beautiful cards for you guys okay let's get started i honor how i want to feel yes remember again what this was also feelings feelings so honor the way that you feel follow those feelings like i said follow your heart honor your feelings the second one i got for you guys in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love know that the universe has your back and god is moving you in the right direction towards love okay when i lean on the faith of the universe peace becomes real absolutely let go and let god continue to have hope faith and know that the universe has your back is moving you towards the right thing and god will definitely help you to find that inner peace and it will be real for you like I said, go with the flow of things. You know, that's also part of it. Sometimes you have to just go with the flow. Let go and just let God. Okay, that's your advice. And the um, intuitive insight for you guys this month. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please do check out the other fire sign videos. As well as the other Virgo um, videos as well. All right. Thank you.